Canada's lakes, rivers, streams, wetlands, and glaciers hold one-fifth of the world's freshwater. But Canadian freshwater systems are under threat. Canada's rivers make up 25 major watersheds, most of which are facing pressures from environmental stressors, ranging from oil and gas development and hydropower dams to agricultural runoff, urbanization, and climate change. A national assessment of these 25 watersheds by World Wildlife Fund Canada in 2017 discovered that 15 were lacking the data necessary to properly assess their health. One way to capture this data is through community-based water monitoring. Living Lakes Canada is one of the first NGOs to be certified to deliver field training for the Canadian Aquatic Biomonitoring Network, known as CABIN, the National Aquatic Health Monitoring Program developed by Environment and Climate Change Canada. Living Lakes Canada has been training community groups to monitor water using this protocol for over a decade. In 2018, Living Lakes Canada became part of a new partnership with World Wildlife Fund Canada, the University of Guelph, and Environment and Climate Change Canada to support the collection of water data via a new DNA water monitoring program called STREAM. STREAM, short for Sequencing the Rivers for Environmental Assessment and Monitoring, is a new national water monitoring pilot working to collect a total of 1,500 benthic invertebrate DNA samples from 15 watersheds across Canada over three years through community-based water monitoring. The samples collected by community groups consist of benthic macroinvertebrates, the water bugs found in streams and rivers. Benthic invertebrates are a key part of aquatic food webs, reflect local conditions, and are sensitive to a variety of disturbances, including cumulative impacts, which makes them strong indicators of water quality and aquatic ecosystem health. For stream, the benthics are collected by participants using the standardized cabin kick netting protocol with special steps taken to minimize DNA contamination and preserve the sample. Samples are then sent to the University of Guelph, where, using a new DNA metabarcoding technology developed in the Hajibabai lab, they are analyzed and added to a database of all the different macroinvertebrate species that can be found in watersheds across Canada. The STREAM project's contribution to this database, while ensuring consistent sample collection methods, will help make it possible to monitor the long-term impacts of climate change and water pollution on Canadian watersheds. The first year of the STREAM pilot project was completed in 2019. Over 80 participants were trained, and over 700 samples were collected in five priority watersheds across Canada. The Columbia Basin, Skeena Basin, and Peace Region in British Columbia, the Bow Valley in Alberta, and the Great Lakes Northern Lake Huron in Ontario. STREAM is continuing to recruit interested community-based water monitoring partners for the project. Join partners Living Lakes Canada, World Wildlife Fund Canada, the University of Guelph, and Environment and Climate Change Canada in this water stewardship work across Canada to help protect the water-based ecosystems we all depend on.